working with the app stream for VDI. So click the VDI access and you'll be taken right away to the stick net portal where you'll log in your username and password. And this at this point, your session will begin to activate shortly before your preparation is complete. You'll put in your password again. And the process will continue. And your connection has been received. And if you look up at the URL, it'll say Amazon app stream and displayed right now on your computer is the stick to go. It's the um, the the home page you would see if you're sitting in a computer lab on campus. So the first thing I'm going to do is open Google Chrome. And I'll extend the, the size of the screen and log into Blackboard. Agree. And then go ahead into the course. So when you're logging into Cengage, um, because you're connected through the app stream, the pop-up blocker is on. So you get this red bar showing that the um, the pop-up blocker is preventing you to open Cengage. So up in the URL button um, tab, you have a button that has pop-ups were blocked. So click that and choose always allow pop-ups and then click done. But it's, it's not going to take you there until you click refresh. And then it continues. The assignment we're working on is Word Module 1, End of Module Project 1. Go ahead and click start and you have three items that pop up one is the instruction file on the left hand side your start file which is the actual document that you'll be working on and this is a support file which is a picture so we'll start with the instruction file and down the left hand side you'll click this to open it and it takes you right to word and then you'll enable the editing and i usually close out of the navigation. Go back to Google Chrome. Make sure you're doing it in the, um, the app stream window. And then I'm going to open up the next file, but it's going to ask me, do you want to um, mo download multiple files and click allow? And there's your file down here. And again, enable the editing and go back one more time to Google Chrome and you want the support file and then you'll click that and then just OK. So this is a tricky one. So we'll come back to this later. So go, go back to um, your there are two Word documents and I'm opening up the instruction file. But I also need to see the instructions and the, the um, start file. So I'm going to choose view and then choose side by side. And that way I have both of them. So if I scroll now, they're scrolling at the same time, but I don't want them to do that. So I'll click window and then I'll take this synchronized scrolling so I can do them separately. So I'm scrolling down and just move the directions a little bit. So the first thing they want us to do is um, we're working for the administrative support department of Associated Regional Hospital and we're creating a flyer and they want you to change the theme color to what's called blue warm. So in this document on the right hand side, choose design and then there's colors and they want blue warm. The next thing they want us to do is to select the title and they want the title to capitalize each of the words, not all caps, each of the words. So click home. And this is a button called change case and I'm going to choose capitalize each word then increase the font size to 36 
and then to change the font color they don't want just the font color they want text effects so that's this one here text effects and this is the one they're looking for it's called fill blue gray accent color one shadow and they also want it centered so that was all in number two the next thing number three is select the picture and we're going to resize it so you click the tab that says format so that's format picture and we're going to change the size from four inches wide to six and press enter and then they want a simple frame black picture style choose quick styles and if you hover over this one it should say do for me but this is the one um, that should be the um, simple frame black picture style next thing we'll do is hover down and select three hour sessions and that will be under underscore and then come down a little bit more safe workplace will be in italic and then so that was four and five scroll down a little bit and there are four bolded um, beginning paragraphs. Select those four and apply bullets. And if you click here, you're putting the def default bullet, which is the solid circle. And then you will change the font style to Book Antique, Antigua. And then you'll reduce the size to 12 and change the font color to dark purple text too. Then select the next two lines and we're going to apply a shading effect which is the tipped over paint bucket and they want um, dark, tech, dark purple text to 80%. And then with it still selected, choose layout you want the spacing before these two lines to be 12 points and after only six. Then click below that so that you're in it should be in the center position. And this is when we're going to get that picture. This is when it becomes tricky. So Norm, we're going to go to insert and select illustrations for picture, but first go to the yellow folder on the taskbar of the app stream. And then in Documents, you should have Downloads, and there's your picture. So I'm going to uh, right-click it and choose Copy. And then I'll go to this PC and put it in Templates. Control-V will paste it there. So now it's been moved to there. Now when I go into Insert Illustrations Picture, and I go into um, my this PC, it'll be in temporary files. There it is, and insert. It's a little bit large, went on to another page, so change the height of it to 0 0.8 and press enter. So now it fits on this page. And then control home, it takes you back to the top. Make sure we did everything there, we put the picture in. So now what we need to do is um, put a border around the entire page. So click Design, Page Border. They want the third one, which is the dash style. They want the color to be that dark purple text too, and the width of it to be one solid point, and OK. And then run a spell check, which is in Review, Proofing, Spelling and Grammar, Illness is spelled with an extra L, so click this one. And then it's stopping at someone's name. We're going to tell it to ignore all and OK. So I'm going to minimize the instructions because I'm done with that. And I'll make this the full screen. And we're ready to save, file, save as. I'm going to set save it in browse and into temporary files. Now the only thing you have to do is change the 
the, with the file name, keep it all the same, Illustrated Word 2019, end of module one, your name. Only change this last one, backspace, to a two, and then save. Then when you go back to Google Chrome, this is where you received all your files, click continue. This is where you want to drag your, um, so we're not actually going to drag and drop, but I'm going to click this and it'll take me to my temporary files. And I want this one here, I just finished with the two, open. If it gives you a check mark, that just means that the name is correct. So if you didn't change that two to a one, it wouldn't let you submit. So you have to make sure it's named with the two. Then you can go ahead and click submit. And now we'll check our grade. Choose graded summary report. And here's your report right here. So let's open that. And here's your results, 100 out of 100. Now, if you had anything that was incorrect, there'd be a red X. And whatever was wrong or you missed, you could go back and fix that and resend it. So that's working with an end of module project using the VDI access, which is the app stream. So that's submitted, that's saved, you're all set, you have your grade. At this point, make sure you click here to end your session. Thank you.